for our today's session uh, we have shri vishnu vijay an inspiring and enthusiastic person i would say so uh, professionally he is a mechanical engineer uh, graduated from amrita and then an mba and ms a graduate from university at buffalo uh, new york uh, so currently managing uh, the media and public relations for amrita vishwavidyalaya pedam from the aoc office amrita office of communication amrita buddy campus and uh, to say about him he has given uh, several uh, training sessions numerous training sessions at um, different leadership camps of amrita such as alts dhruva many things and also while he was serving in the hindustan unilever previously so uh, looking ahead uh, for a, an enthusiastic session from uh, shri vishnu vijay I'm handing over to uh, vishnu namaskar namaskar i think am i audible audible uh, yes yes you are okay uh, can you guys see the screen or is there a problem yes yes no problem sir yeah like yeah. 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 how many of you are here actually in the whole uh, session just to under keep count uh, 74 70 oh my god that's a huge number my god uh and thank you thank you amrita thank you amritesh and the entire team of ayu actually uh, i i hope all of you are freshers right so you might have already uh, seen a presentation or something about ayu then what ayu does in amritapuri campus and maybe across kerala also you might have seen some uh, uh, activities that we do here etc uh, thank you both amritesh and uh, amrita to give me the first session i think it's a big challenge for me uh i don't know this is a virtual environment and i am i am also new to it uh, this is not my style of uh, session uh, i am a person who uh, loves outdoors okay try to talk uh, loud uh, so this is a first experience for me but then uh, uh, thank you guys uh, i think all of you all 74 or 75 of them who has joined i think it's a big number uh, to start with uh, thank you so okay welcome all of you to Uh, uh the ayud santhya session officially from my end also i think it's a, a good decision that you had made okay but then i also want to tell a sorry because uh, the reason is uh, this is not the way normally normally we take sessions and i i don't know how uh, inspirational a session can be when you don't see each other when you uh, when you can't interact with each other much so i have tried my best to include some virtual polls etc to to know you to interact with you to save time etc so uh, as as we go along this session it will be a very short session but then uh, as we go along we will have a, a couple of polls etc to just to know you a little bit okay so and i request i will share a link in the chat box in the uh, in the teams platform and i would request all of you to click the link and when i say okay when i say click the link and then Uh, give me the feedback and then that we, we will we will see how all of you respond etc uh, so sorry from that perspective that we are not able to directly interact with each other we are not able to talk each other so there is a limitation that the covid pandemic has brought in and but i think we will try to cover up for that okay and thank you again uh, i i am i you might think okay it's over right uh, so there is a welcome there is a Uh, and thank you so i think the presentation is over uh, it's not like that uh, i'm thankful be- because i think you have you have uh, taken a very very right decision by coming for not just i sandhya but then uh, just thinking about uh, going out of the classroom sessions and that is something i want to uh, bring in as a as a topic of discussion in today's session uh, thank you a lot because coming out of the box coming out of the the normal the conventional the classroom setup to something that uh, is more uh, uh, dynamic more lively more more related to the life that you're going to have uh, uh, in your campus talking to people interacting with people who who are not in your classroom basically trying to explore those avenues i think it's a it's a thank you not as a, a person from ayu delon but as a as a friend as a as a person who has seen so many students over a period of last so many years and myself being a 
a uh, person who has come through uh, a college education i know how it what it means to take that first step first decision to see okay i want to go and join a club i want to explore what is outside there and this is a thank you for that for you guys and it's also uh, uh, an appreciation also for all of you so i don't know whether we can clap or we can applaud each other but then this is this is a moment for all of you to rejoice for all of you to at least pat on your back a little bit so that i feel you did the right you took the right decision today i think like not just coming here but then as a whole trying to explore various avenues okay so now uh, before we start and knowing about each other there is a very very quick survey it has just 20 questions and most of them are uh, multiple choice questions okay so i am just going to uh, give you uh, uh, a small link in the chat box uh, i don't know if you are you will be able to view that just one minute uh, i i hope i am audible right to all of you Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you? Did you get the link? There is some problem. I don't know. Can all of you access the link? I don't know. I'm just wondering. Mm -hmm. did you guys get the link yes sir okay so what is yes, yes, uh, yes sir full simple form it has it has around 10 simple questions a uh, lot of lot of things may be unrelated uh, just just click on the link try to fill up the uh, details as much as you can and submit it and all the questions are mandatory uh, uh, complete the form so that we move forward i will give you just a uh, one minute time for all of you to Uh, go through it. So uh, it'll it one to two minutes. I think is enough uh, to fill it. It's just ten uh, uh, questions. So what I would suggest is if you if you completed the quiz, if you can just uh, in the chat box itself, you can just write completed. So if I see a large number of people who have completed, then I can uh, we can just move ahead with the. But then before we get into the session. uh the main aspect of the session i think i want all of you to complete this uh, survey yes sir is there a problem what a problem sir in i in the in the fourth question there is only two teams ah uh, there is in a final of ipl you can have only two teams so you guys are very very fast i think you quickly reach the fourth question Oh my God! Thota Bhuvana Chandra is the first person to complete. My God, super fast! Huh? Marishani Jay Surya. My God, you guys are really, really fast, huh? I didn't know that. So maybe I could have added more questions. <clears throat> Almost fifteen people have completed. I think it's a, it's a very very interesting thing. Tap tap tap. It's more than twenty five who have completed by now. Ah, superb, superb. Thank you. 
great almost 50% of you have completed i think it'll take maybe 30 seconds more that's all Oh, that's good. Fifty, fifty of you have completed. Uh, maybe a one, a minute more is something like we can wait for. Sorry, that was a phone call for me. I just. Wow, good. So. Uh, I hope everybody are done, right? Almost everybody are done. I should do. Do you want me, me to wait for some more time? Sir, can you send the link again, sir? I cannot access oh. it. Oh, you cannot access. Okay. That's why. You cannot access the link, so you have to do it again. Sir, actually, I was disconnected for one or two minutes, so that's why. Got it, got it, got it. I have shared it again. I have shared it again. I don't know if you are able to see that. Yes, sir. Thank you for that. So, so to continue from where I think uh, we will look into the the results maybe in a minute or so. But then before we go into the results, I think so we have done with the survey and uh, so this is a question I think it was there in the in the. Cues also. How many of you feel bored in your life? And uh, there is a lot of interesting answers that I've got. So uh, before I get into this this result part of the survey that we have done, uh, I want to I want to show you a cycle. And th this is where we are going to start the whole session. And this is something called the cycle of disengagement. And uh, you might feel okay, this is a very big word and all that. But then I will make it very simpler for you, very easy for you. See. In 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 your daily life, I I want to take you through a couple of cases that you you always face in your life. Okay, the first thing is how many of you on a on in a day to day basis, like when you take up the brush and then try to look at the brush and you say, oh my God, this is the same brush I'm I've been using for so many years and the same thing that I'm going to do every day, right? I go, I have to bath. How how many of you feel so bored to wake up in the morning, especially on a Monday and go to class? So how how uh, uh, boring it is sometimes, right? How boring it is sometimes to uh, wake up in the morning and then put your uniforms. I think till your uh, uh, till now, like even now, I think you will have to wear uniforms in your life. So wearing that uniform, going to the class, seeing the same faculty, and most of the faculties they don't even sometimes change the dress and all that, right? You they see the madam in the yellow sari on Monday, the yellow sari on Tuesday, the yellow sari on Wednesday, the same. Cycle of uh, people that is the same friends that you see every day, the same teachers that you see every day, same uh, uh, brush, the the bed, the room, the house, everything, right? The car. So there is a, there is a kind of boredom that we get uh, used to, right? The same assignments that people ask us to study, the same uh, yelling, the same noises, everything, right? Whatever happens around your life, you would have always felt it. Sometimes, 
you need a break you need something you need to do something different you need to do or at least you want to be out of that space for some time at least right that is why some of us then we decide to go for a movie we go out for dinner we go for rest go to a restaurant with your friends correct you you try to always break your routines and this thing but then you always get bored right you, you might have all felt this this thing and then just look at the second level of disconnect sometimes you feel you look at the father and you my, how many of you have thought my god i'm seeing this this my father for so many years he's the same guy yeah right you can of course change him but then i'm saying uh, the kind of boredom that you get by the kind of questions that your father asks the kind of questions your mother asks whenever you want to go out there is always a doubt in her mind what is he going to do and if you ask for extra money and then there is a lot of questions that get asked you want to buy something is the same kind of questions and uh, doubt, uh, questions that you get from your your parents and same thing your teachers also you in between uh, class suppose you want to just go uh, uh, to the bathroom or restroom uh, your teacher is always doubtful right so sometimes you feel why is she always doubtful to me and you get into that same situation the same cycle every now and then and sometimes you feel bored also right and the kind of roles that you play in your life as a student as a daughter or a son or as a even as a citizen right you see the same damn politicians the same kind of things that they talk and the same kind of uh, trying to fooling us and the, the same kind of strategies to win elections get your votes you you and the same kind of uh, uh, news readers in the in the newsroom the kind of noise that they make out there you see all that and you see some kind of a disconnect right you get some some kind of a boredom you feel maybe this is this change right there is a difference in the way we do things same same manner is is with your friends also right you come into a, a, a friend circle you you know the kind of uh, uh, friendship of course everybody loves friendship at the same time there is always a disconnect also with your friends if you see oh, how why is this guy he has been with me for so many years and why can't he understand me this is always that question right why is he not able to understand me and uh, every time something something uh, happens and this is the way this guy reacts and he doesn't trust me sometimes you have always felt that in the class also sometimes you will have some some guy in the class okay everybody decides to i'm just giving you cases okay so that you understand everybody decides to bunk the class and go for a movie together there will be always a guy who comes and says okay no no that is not correct we have to attend the class you can't bunk i will go and tell to the faculty so there is always a guy who is always uh going uh, away from the uh, group and then you we want to plan for a picnic or a tour or something like you would have experienced this is somebody who is not connected with the group somebody who is not connected with the team and they 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 create a problem for you and then you feel a disconnect with those people and similarly you also feel a kind of a disconnect with your uh, your college your school why is the school always like this why is the college always like this why is your friends friendship and, and family as as a whole like okay oh, yeah. these are all institutions these are all uh, organizations or in future when you go and work somewhere also you will find the the whole uh, organization to be boring at some time and then you quit your job and then try to see. if you see there is a huge cycle and this cycle of uh, disengagement based on various reasons right and you have you always try to get bored if you actually look at it you will get bored because of any of these four things and boredom starts from any of these things at the same time I'm, and the reason why I'm, i want to take it up is at the same time you will, you will always see there are so many people in in your life who are not like that also right so who are not like that also who are who has so much of energy so much of enthusiasm has no time for all these things no time for complaints no time for anything else but then they they keep on doing something then they they we have seen such people right if you know about somebody like abdul kalam you would have heard that this is a guy who doesn't even sleep when when he wants to achieve something he wants to uh, send a uh, maybe the first time he launched the agni missile right the first slv project as a first slv project director uh, so when he launched it he didn't sleep for months okay that is the kind of uh, guy he is and everybody under him also did the same thing because he's so inspirational so uh, energetic and no time for boredom in his life okay not disengaged with any chance so you have people like that also and uh, if you have heard about somebody like uh, 
uh, Elon Musk or Steve Jobs and so many such people and even even to the matter like many of the politicians like Narendra Modi and etc like they don't they don't sleep they 19 hours 20 hours they work I'm not being political here but I'm saying because just just as a person how can you work for 20 hours 21 hours every day 365 days 40 years 50 years not getting bored okay so that whole how can some people live like that and some of us at least might have experienced some kind of a boredom in your life right so i want to explore this aspect of uh, uh, all of us right so before uh, this is the agenda of the session so this is the uh, uh, the the kind of the question that i want to answer through this particular before i go into uh, this next part of the presentation how many of you want to uh, see the results of the survey okay so i want to 62 people have responded so far how many of you can see the survey see this how many of you can yes sir we can see it can you see this see uh, survey result yes sir yes sir, oh, yes. Yes, sir. Oh, you saw the survey result? Sir, now we can't see, sir. Oh, you just now saw it. We a... have now a glance. And... Oh, you just had a glance. Ah. So this is the survey result. So 62 people have responded. Uh, which region are you coming from? So almost it's a huge number of people from Kerala. And of course, uh, uh, some 15 of them from uh, uh, Andhra and Telangana put together it's 20% and, and one each from Tamil Nadu and Kerala. I just wanted to know. And it is amazing actually to see uh, the kind of feedback here because I just wanted to know. This is, a, this is a generic question and it's good that you have views, you have political views. It is very important, I think, uh, uh, being in, in Ayud and being in this kind of platforms. I think it is very important that you know what is happening. Very good that all of you had uh, some... Uh, positive, I think this is all about positivity. We really don't know what these two people are going to do for India. But then, of course, you you are people, I think, has, who have a lot of positivity and a lot of uh, expectation. And this is very interesting. Uh, 28, that means almost more, less than 50% of them believe that uh, Mumbai Indians are going to win. Uh, and... Um, Almost 30-35% of them believe Delhi Capital is going to win. And 14, that is almost 30% uh, of you don't even, 30-25% of you even don't watch IPL. But that is very, very interesting. I thought at this age, uh, most of you would be hooked into IPL. And that's the reason why I asked this. Uh, good, that's a very interesting team. Uh, what percentage of your time do you feel bored? So I can see majority of them less than 50%. Uh, but still, uh, if you see that 1 to 25 percent, there are almost 50 percent of them. And if you see there are only four people in the whole group who says, I never get bored. And there are two people very interestingly who says, I always get bored. This is something very important. Now, you are going to, you have to put this graph into your heads. Uh, uh, throughout your time here in Ayud and anywhere like see there is always going to be some people who are never going to be bored the, the inspirational guys the people who are going to drive things right? they're very very uh, highly energetic people there'll be a lot of guys like that in fact if you see the graph you have uh, more than 50 60 percent of them who are in that category the the 25 percent and less kind of a category they are very inspirational very very self-motivated kind of people Okay, and then you can see other half also. So when you look at any of these kind of our platforms and going forward, we will discuss this a little bit also. See that irony, see the difference. You know, there are half of you who feel that they are bored and that might in, the, in their life as a whole, that's the reason why they are coming. So if you being with somebody like in a group of friends or in a night circle, if you can give positivity to somebody, if you can make them happy, if you can make them uh, 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 if you can just respect them, if you can just give some value to those people, I think they will be less disengaged from their life. And that is the best thing you can do. Just giving them help, helping and just supporting them, just giving them a space is itself a big thing that you can do by coming to uh, groups like this. And people who are inspirational should take that lead and then 
and create an environment for others also so that everybody gets benefited and the goal is to bring all of them into the that red portion if you see the red portion of it okay so that's the agenda and very interestingly what percentage of your friends are highly self motivated so this is a reverse of the same question the reason why that same question was asked in two manners because one was about you and one is about what you feel about others so if you see very very interestingly everybody feels now i say said 50% of them felt that less than 25% of uh, uh, time you are uh, less bored right so that is my own perception about me i feel that i am not bored bored right but then when i ask about others okay when i ask about what is your, how are your friends so you can see there is a small difference here the difference is 19 if you see majority now in this case the majority of them you feel um all it, it's not as a same as earlier but if you see 75% of my friends are self motivated that means here there is 9 and there it was around 32 plus 4 36 see just see the reversal of it so when you have 50% of them feeling that i don't get bored always or at least for 25% of the time when i ask about my friends you believe that only 75% of your friends are self motivated just the opposite of it so there is an irony here so what you actually think you are may not be what others think you are that's the whole idea that i want to say so you think you are self motivated etc but maybe others do not think you are not self motivated so there is always a gap in the perception okay so we the whole idea is to give you an understanding about what others feel about you in general so the see the difference in the numbers here uh, just just to give you an insight okay now this was a very very important question and just wanted to see what do you think are the most important skills of a leader and it would have been ideal if all of you had filled everything i don't know if everything uh, Uh, is uh, uh, correct or if something is not good for a leader i don't know if there is anything like that but then as a whole if you look at the couple of things that stand out in the whole thing is decision making as a group when you say you say it is decision making that is uh, uh, very important and then your group feels that determination and courage is very important and having a vision is very important uh, and then having communication skills are very important so th- you said four things are very important and then there are two more things which you say next big things are i think hum selfless and compassionate and being humble etc the other things you are, you have not many people have not voted but then majority of you think decision making determination and communication skills are going to be the most important things when it comes to being a leader okay so this is a point i need to take a pause on the survey results and i want to go back to my presentation a little bit uh, can you now see the presentation again uh, are you guys able to yes yeah. no, are you are you able to watch the presentation now no sir no okay so one minute Okay. How about now? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. This is, this is a just. How many of you know about something like Fortune 500 companies, right? These are the big companies. Again, uh, putting a Modi's face here. Don't think that I am a Modi supporter. It's not like that. I'm just giving you an image because these are all the Fortune 500 CEOs with the Prime Minister. Just to give you a perspective, okay? These guys are highly, highly influential people. See, the, it's not that. they are sitting with modi because uh, they want to sit with modi it's not like that it is because the prime minister wants them for the country's growth so you you can see these are all the amongst the fortune finder companies many of them were invited and it's the prime minister with them see the importance of these people that's what i was trying to show you and these are all rich people they are one of the most successful successful people in the world and they drive one of the largest organizations in the world and then they sit along with 
the prime ministers of the country presidents of the country they they dictate term, terms sometimes right so they're very very powerful people and that's what i was trying to say and it is more for countries like india and uh, all that to uh, uh, have them invest in the in, in our own country right because they are very important when it comes to the country's future so just harvard is a very important university as you guys all know and they are one of the best business schools in the world so they went and did a survey on the ceos of all the fortune 500 companies so the whole question there was only a single question just like you did a survey today a simple question what are the skills needed for success very simple question they are accomplished people highly successful people very rich people they asked what kind of skills are required and just wanted to uh, tell you all the things that you selected in that were there but one thing that was missing is hard skills and i had given you an option to add uh, a option also so that you could add something right hard skills is nothing but what you learn how many if you are mechanical engineers if you are uh, electronics engineer if you are computer science engineer that is your hard skill right so you have come to amrita university you have, you have joined for a program to do what for for to get a career to get a degree to um learn something right so don't you think these things are and just see all the other things are there but then the hard skills are uh, don't you think that is important for success don't you think that and that should be the reason why you have come all the way and then uh, taken a course uh, taking a very important degree and then uh, doing all these things right in your life and that's to learn something right so the hard skills is all about that so if you see this is harvard's finding very very interesting finding you see 20% of people only felt that hard skills are required you know you have come here i am just telling it very importantly because you have come to amrita you are paying so much of fees you are going to take it you are going to spend 4 years of your life to get 20% of your skills and the 80% of the remaining skills that whatever you selected and you felt decision making is important you felt vision is important you felt communication skills are important you felt all that and you selected all that the ceo says that is 80% of the skills required for you to be successful and you are going to spend all of your life and this is very very important see this 90% of your time just look back just look back at at your life 90% of your time that you have spent is sitting in a class and doing something and learning something who taught you all these life skills all the other skills that we listed above and how are you going to get those skills do you think getting into a class and studying computer science can give you life skills i don't think so and that is when that is where activities and uh, clubs and platforms like ayud has a huge huge role to play and this 10 percentage of the time at least 10 percent that's all that we give this is an honest fact that's what they say harvard fees only 10 percent of the time is what we invest into what we actually need in your life that is 80 percent of what is going to determine your success and you spend 10 percent of it just see the irony of it just see the absurdity of it right to see that and just think what is it that you want to do in your life just to improve yourself just to be successful in it. everybody wants to be successful i am 100% sure there is in going to be anybody who would say i don't want to be a successful person nobody is going to say that but it is about doing the right things to be successful and what is it that's what i said here okay so how can i learn this life skills as i said platforms like i platforms where you can collaborate platforms where you can actually do something and you can then you need to be in touch with me you need to uh, break the barriers and go and interact with people outside your classroom you need to be in a position to talk to the dean to talk to the principal to talk to your father to talk to your mother influence them positively talk to the prime minister if possible i'm saying influence everybody whom whomever you can interact with to increase the interaction with as many people influence as many people as possible that is when you become uh, a leader that is when you become successful that is when you have a potential to uh, improve the lives of others also i at this point of time i want to go back to the survey a little bit 
uh, I know we have less time available than I want to complete the survey and just come back to this again. But just see the irony of it. That was the reason why I, I wanted to show you this. And just see, all of you felt this. And there are so many people who said others. Only four people felt the need to add one more component into the survey, into the results. And I don't know how many of you has written technical skills as a, an important thing. See, none of you actually care about it. Honestly, when it comes to success, none of you actually. But I am not saying that is not required. In, the, in, this, in this generation, of course, that is going to be a, something a mandatory thing. Okay, if you do not have that skill, you are not going to be successful at all. That is going to be there. You need to be smart. You need to know your area. You need to know the fundamentals. That is there. I'm not debating that part. But then everybody will be like that. And then how are you going to be uh, marching forward? It is only based on your other skills. Okay. Now, there are very interesting questions that I asked. Are you a leader? 20 of them felt I'm a leader. And 10 of them felt no. Do you see yourself as a leader? No. That means it's it's all about confidence also. It's all about whether people may not even want to become a leader. That's the whole point. So that's if it is if you ask me whether it is okay or not. The problem in this is now you see all these skills. I have a question for you. Suppose there is an honest, sincere sweeper in a street every day morning four o'clock he wakes up goes to the street cleans the street dis takes the waste from that street and dispose it correctly to the place where he is supposed to put it segregates it sorts it and when you see somebody spitting on the floor he goes and talks to that person counsels that person or then he uh, he when whenever he goes and uh, go to a house and somebody gives a, a baggage of waste without being sorted out. Somebody sees somebody throwing in the floor. He goes and talks to them. He convinces them. He inspires them. Isn't he also a leader? Isn't only Narendra Modi or Trump or uh, Joe Biden or Kamala Harris or uh, Rahul Gandhi? Are these the only guys whom we think as leaders? Or, or are there people beyond them? Or Sachin Tendulkar or Virat Kohli? I don't know. MS Dhoni. Go, or can we say, or, or the, all the business tycoons like Steve Jobs and uh, um, Iokoka and all the great uh, leaders, right? All the great people. They are also leaders. But I'm saying, can, can a sweeper be also a leader? Now the pandemic came in. Can a simple nurse in a government hospital or a PHC in a remote tribal village, can she also be a leader? That is the question. Are, aren't these set of skills applicable to them also? Don't you think a vision is required for a sweeper? Don't you think a vision is required for a nurse? Don't you think a vision is required for anybody down the line? A simple policeman standing in this, a traffic police who is standing in a, uh, uh, in, a, in a road, don't you think he needs a vision? Don't you think he needs pride? Don't you think he needs determination and courage to do his job correctly? Or isn't only the DGPs and IPS officers who need all this? Is it always like that? That is the question that we need to think. So as a student also, just being a student, just get it to yourself, guys. I think you need not mark yourself to be in the no section. I will never accept any of you to put in a no in your that you are a leader. Just understand that you are born into this place, this, this world. You have to be a leader. There is no question about it. It is all about that. Okay, and it's about being the concept of leadership is not about being the Fortune 500 top CEO. It is not about being the prime minister or the chief minister of the state. It is not about being the captain of the Indian cricket team. It is not just about that. It is about being a very normal person, but as a leader. So see this, who has inspired you the most in your life? See that majority of you my father my mother two important people i think you are all with them now but then you think, see the importance that you guys have given to that and see that ordinary people five very 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 interesting to see this very very interesting to see that all of you actually believe 
what I just said, that it is not just the celebrities and the politicians and the bureaucrats and all of that who are going to be the leaders alone. Everybody can be a leader. Mother is or must be, and a father has to be a leader. A teacher has to be a leader. On the contrary, this, this, this insight also gives me a feeling. See, when people don't put enough points to my teacher, it is, a, it is actually a sad thing for the country. There aren't enough uh, inspirational teachers anymore. Or we need to improve the, the level of inspirational leadership in the teachers also so that more people feel that I need to, I need to add a, my own teacher also into the list. That kind of uh, rigor has to come everywhere. And see the sad aspect of politicians. See 66 and 64 people, random people, and they feel that politicians are not great leaders for you and they have inspired you see the condition they are powerful they are extremely powerful but then they are unluckily not being considered but then if you see the kind of attention the media attention people get the kind of uh, 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 details that these people get so i have uh, listed out some so just going through some of the names that you've said ratan tata bill gates Roger Federer, a lot of people. So I'm, I fully agree that these are all great people. No doubt about it. I don't. Uh, these are all great, great people. They have fought through their lives and come out and been successful. You can see so many APJ Abdul Kalams, five already. So uh, it looks like APJ Abdul Kalam has the, in just a fast glance, I think, a uh, lot of people has voted for APJ Khan and that is there. If I would have added his name, most votes would have gone to him also. Very ordinary person uh, coming from a very remote village and, and inspired so many people, right? So what I'm trying to say is it is not just about it's not just about becoming uh, a, a, a Fortune 500 CEO or a, as a celebrity to be considered as a leader. It is about ordinary people like us. As a student, as a faculty, as a, as a member of the community, uh, having been to the Ayudh group, as an Ayudhian, we all are leaders. And that is something you need to get into your head and into your hearts also. That's what I feel. Uh, just wanted to, um, this is the idea of contribution. I don't want to get into uh, all of this, but then uh, I feel that being in Ayudh, being with this community and this community i have been with, with this group for um, um, so many so many years now so i know the kind of difference that it has brought into so many of our ideas uh, the way uh, very very I, I there are a lot of stories to share but then i don't know if i have the time to share that but then believe me as a course uh, as, as you progress along the journey you will you will meet so many inspiring people you will interact with so many of your uh, alumni who are outside now and you will also uh, get to know their stories and understand what kind of difference have they made to the community the uh, the world the, the country etc and uh, as normal people as very very ordinary people how they were able to bring difference to others how they were able to show the leadership qualities that we listed and just to give you that reminder it is not just about sitting in a class and mugging up a lot of things it is also about doing things outside the scope of the class that can touch the very, very, very bottom of the society that can affect just the person sitting next to you in the class or in the group or maybe a person in the next class, how you can influence them, how you can improve their life, how you can give them happiness, that idea of bringing a difference to others, that I think is very, very important. And that is what is going to give you and teach you those life skills that Harvard and all the big guys say that is extremely important for you to be successful. And just believe me, it is not about being the most successful person, uh, uh, most richest person to be the most successful person, or more powerful person to become the most successful person. It is about being maybe sometimes very down in the pyramid and then still your ability to make a difference to others is what actually gives you the uh, power of leadership. And that's what makes you a leader. So I don't want anybody in mind to ever say that you don't want to become leader or you are never going to begin. Never even think like that. You are already a leader. You took the first step to come to come for this session. That itself shows that you have leadership skills.
your ability to know something that that inquisitiveness itself is about leadership your ability to uh, sit patiently for my session that itself shows a lot of your commitment and and that also shows that you you are are going to be leaders of future i have no doubt about it okay just believe me i have no doubt about it and um, uh, amritesh i just want to ask you just uh, how do you you want it's a small assignment for them uh, i have prepared it so how do you want do you want me to share it now or do you want you to share yes, it yes yes you can share it right now itself yeah so i don't know how, whether we have time i think in, in yes, a minute it's the last slide uh, it's about uh, a small uh, assignment that uh, amrita shetan said we need to give you it's a very very simple uh, activity it's not going to be very complicated uh, i know all of you know how to make a powerpoint presentation right so i don't i don't think you guys uh, have any any problem in uh, using the technology using powerpoint presentations etc so create a five slide ppt or a three minute video so whichever is convenient for you i am going to give you that freedom i know you guys are the uh, guys who are who who live in the age of new age media and uh, uh, videos and instagrams and all that right so you guys know how to use that either you can make a ppt or you can make a 3 minute video and the the whole idea is to come up with an inspirational story of a well known personality not somebody who is from your family or your friends like not mother and i know all of you consider them as also inspirational but then i want to uh come make bring a uh, 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 come up with something that is inspirational of a well known personality now when i said well known personality it is uh, a, some i need to correct it here a little bit i i it need not be it need not be uh, somebody like uh, uh, shahrukh khan or uh, amazon it doesn't matter uh, it need not be a person of national or international fame it doesn't matter the reason why i put that is because you need to have some of their uh, uh, images or something to be included in the ppt that is the only reason why i put that so it can be ideally it can be a person as i rightly said about a person whom we said uh, like a sweeper in the road or a uh, or a nurse in a remote uh, uh, tribal village can also be uh, part of it but then i need at least five images so to get five images for somebody like that will be very difficult Uh, why you wanted five images is to give the continuity to give you to tell a story uh, and to communicate it better i think we need couple of images uh, of that person so somebody who can be locally famous also somebody who has been covered already in a media or news or an anything is also fine for me it doesn't matter but it should contain uh, a story from their life how Uh, uh, an inspirational story from their life and how that story has influenced you that is the whole message okay and you need to add images or videos of that person or that uh, personality so that and then send it to the ayub team so that's the whole idea I, i think the whole activity will not take much time it will help you do some research about some interesting people out there it will also help you to improve your communication skills and narrate a story share a message and that is very important okay so that part is important and don't don't forget to add the uh, uh, your name etc in that slide and just share it to the ayub team okay i think this is basically as an activity for you uh, and this will help you because as you go along you will have to create a lot of powerpoint presentations you will have to create your own uh, uh, you will have to be uh, equipped to take sessions if required and and things like that so i think this is just a start and if you have any difficulty any time okay take help take help from people learn it if you can go to youtube and learn it. it's about learning something new so i hope it will be really helpful okay and uh, that's all i think uh, i just wanted to share something with you and i don't know how inspirational this is and the medium and the the technology i, I don't know whether it was really helpful for you but then uh, i believe in whatever i said and i i honestly honestly believe whatever i said and i have seen through my life whichever whatever small it is that these things really matters and these as being very very normal people also we can be leaders and we can influence and inspire others okay and uh, over to uh, amritesh and team and thanks a lot for listening thanks a lot for patiently listening thanks a lot for giving you giving your views your, your survey your results 
everything i think i think it's very very interesting okay and thanks a lot nashaya bye Namshaya, Mr. Sir, actually, frankly speaking, uh, it was really, really insightful. Not just after every session we used to say, "No, oh, thank you for that uh, insightful, enthusiastic." Thing. Not like that, but it was really, really insightful, Mr. Uh, sir. Because especially because during this pandemic period, when uh, when you phone someone of India, dear one, how are you? Oh, I'm bored at home. I don't know what to do. So that perspective, a uh, perspective thought, you have changed. You have bring in. a lot of uh, different perceptions in that and also lighting on the importance of life skills and uh, it's not just uh, money or fame makes you a leader but a small small good life skill which makes you a leader thank you so much uh, for sharing those insightful thoughts and we are very glad that we looked upon you for our first session also thank you thank you so I much i think it is an honor for me it is an honor for me to be part of the first session i think Thanks a lot, Amritesh and Amrita, both of you. Thank you, thank you so much. So oh, thank you everyone uh, for uh, eagerly sitting and listening patiently uh, to the sessions and all the details. And thank you, Anand Swaya.